pay the price Oh, I just had to buy him Then with this date surviving Got a token like you Oh, now I have to think twice They don't decentralize it Shares bandwidth from all devices And that is just what they do Oh, but I need some time on The market motion Time to take my heart up off the floor Oh, when that price drops down Alright guys, that's enough there. Um, just thought I would play the video because it's uh, quite appropriate today for Theta and T-Fuel. Um, for all you guys holding Theta and T-Fuel right now, I, I'm sure you're excited. I am too. Um, I actually just liquidated uh, to pay off our pool. So my wife and I got a pool back uh, July of 2020 and we, we got the pool installed in the backyard. And uh, I kept telling her, I was like, you know, <laughs> just get ready, just be patient, because here eventually these investments that I'm in are going to be able to pay off the pool in the house uh, come a later date, like sometime in 2021. And it's funny because we're actually ahead of schedule, uh, so she was quite pleased when, when I called her up. I just told her today that, you know, I was looking for a price of about 12.35 on data, and uh, as soon as that happened, I would liquidate and pay off the pool and so that's what I did as of today is paid off the pool so uh, it's it feels good it's it's just one less thing to worry about uh, you know debt that's that's gone now it's not hovering over my head um, but we're not finished here guys I mean Theta and T Fuel are going much much higher uh, a lot of the projections coming out right now from you know market analysts to experts they're they're gauging targets anywhere between uh, you know, ten dollars from where we were yesterday, on up to you know twenty dollars by the end of April. Okay. Now, you gotta you gotta remember we've got announcements that just came out today as well. Um, let me look at my Theta announcement network real quick because this just hit the news on Theta network announcements, like literally. Oh gosh, 11.44 a.m., so not even an hour ago. Uh, institutional investors, Sierra, Sierra Ventures, Heuristic Capital, Venture Reality Fund, and GVR Fund Stake, um, or and GVR Fund, all these all these guys, right, uh, just staked over $100 million in Theta to a collective enterprise validator node. So basically all these guys, you have... Sierra Ventures, Heuristic Capital, Venture Reality Fund, and GVR Fund. So there's four right there, four big major, uh, you know, like, I don't know if you want to call them hedge funds, but they're institutional investors that just became validator notes with Theta as of today. Um, so if you want to know where the price of Theta is going, it is going to the moon. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we hit over $20, $20 here by the end of April. Uh, you got guys out there like Bix Weir and Jay Snip and uh, Digital Dave who are all talking about, you know, theta prices. Their their original projections were like $40 to $80 uh, by the end of summer. And so there's some people out there now talking about like, you know, that's, that's you forget those numbers. We're going way higher than that. Uh, I don't know if that's the case or not. I mean, it's purely speculative right now, but at the rate we're going, I mean, just in the last three days, look at this. We've got a 41.30% return on uh, on Theta. Now, if we go to T-Fuel real quick, because I don't think we're done yet, we'll probably top out on, on Theta here. Before we go to T-Fuel, I just want to see, like, we've got a price of, like, 14.74 that we could hit, um, and that's all based on the FIB charts. So if we hit that, if we hit that 1474 mark, you know, I would expect this maybe to come back down, find some support here at about like, I don't know, 12 something. Let me go to the four hour. Yeah, I've got a, a line of resistance here. Um, as of right now, 1238. That could probably change here soon. 
but I would expect just looking at the daily that we could go all the way up to 1474, come back down, retest the 1241, and then and then probably head higher because you know one thing you're seeing with data right now, guys, is they are in a completely separate uh, market really when it comes down to it than Bitcoin and Ethereum. They've created a whole new market. So Theta, I look at Theta like the sister to Ethereum. Okay, and if you look at the coin market cap. Uh, I've got too many, <laughs> I've got too many uh, screens going here. Hold on. If we look at the market cap for Coin Market Cap, let's see where, let's see where Theta's at right now. Uh, Theta just took the number nine spot, guys. So we literally flipped Chainlink and Litecoin over the last day as far as market cap. We are we are at number nine, um, and I would I would. You know, guess to venture that we're going to head much, much higher. Um, so that's that's where Theta's at. T fuel, on the other hand, we're at 47 cents there. Uh, you can see we we had like a bull flag pennant that was going here, and we just broke outside that yesterday. And as of today, look where we're at. Uh, we've got resistance here at the all-time high, which was back on March 12th at 48 cents. Um, we did break that. We wicked out here at the very top at about 54 cents um, so I would expect us to head higher and we're gonna at least find support I'm, I'm guessing we'll break this 49 resistance and flip that to support uh, now I've got a price target on T fuel sometime in the next I would say like month month and a half it's kinda hard to to determine because you're you're trying to speculate and predict the future here on price targets so you really can't uh, you just kind of have to go off of fundamentals and where the market is as a whole but with the market as a whole I would say T fuel is going and what they're getting ready to do with T fuel uh, here this next month by being able to stake T fuel and then you've got more validator nodes who are trying to acquire T fuel to get onto the theta network your supply is going to go down because you're going to get a, a T fuel coin burn as well so they're going to burn 2 billion T fuel. There was 5 billion in circulation. So now you're, you're down to 3 billion T fuel. Supply is going down and the demand is just increasing. So uh, <clears throat> as far as a price target on T fuel, I would say we're going to go at least to 91 cents, maybe a dollar here soon. Uh, so that's what I would be, be expecting on T fuel. But let's switch gears here because that's technical analysis on theta and T fuel. I gave you the theta announcement. If you want to learn more about Theta, you can go to my website, academyofcrypto.com. I'll leave a link in the description below for you. But you can go there, go to my blockchain projects, and under blockchain projects, I've got Theta. You can click on there. It'll take you to the website for the white papers, or you can just go to thetatoken.org okay, and, and read up on the project and what they're doing. Because we've got Mainnet 3.0 which is getting ready to be released and launched here soon and and part of that mainnet 3.0 includes everything I was just telling you about with uh, T fuel staking and the burning of the tokens um, you know it, it, they're by far one of the best blockchain projects I've ever seen and uh, I continue to hold Theta and T fuel I'm not letting go of all my bags um, because we're heading a whole lot higher so if you guys are getting excited about the prices going up, one thing you want to keep in mind is you don't want to sell all of your 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 bags too soon, okay? Because if you sell too soon, the price keeps going up, and then you get left in the dust, and you're like, man, I could have could have sat on this, waited, you know, for it to make me a couple more hundred thousand dollars or millions of dollars. Uh, so you don't want to make that that mistake. And one thing I'm doing is just taking a little bit off the top here and there as we hit certain uh, projected targets that I had in mind and then I go in and I'll take a little bit off top you know throw some towards the house pay the mortgage off because that's the next thing I'm, I'm getting ready to pay off here is the mortgage and I'm hoping I can do that here probably sometime um, you know no later than like the end of May going into June uh, we'll see where I'm at but <clears throat> you know I, I plan on holding at least a thousand to fifteen hundred data after this is all said and done I don't want to let go of that. Um, and then we have to see where everything else is at too because I've got other 
projects that I'm invested in outside of this. Uh, but let's take a look at the uh, the fundamentals on the overall markets right now. Um, this actually was an article I found yesterday. I had price analysis on uh, Theta. So we'll go down to Theta real quick and see what they're saying as far as uh, price projections. So Theta here, they said, was in a strong up move uh, of the past few days, has propelled Theta into the top 10 ranking cryptocurrencies by market capitalization after Bitcoin Cash was nudged from its spot, right? So now it's flipped Litecoin and Chainlink as well, so you can add that to the list. Uh, the first target objective on the upside is a rally at 11.54. Now, this is where the, ba the bears may mount a stiff resistance. And, of course, we smashed right through that, so forget about the bears. And they're saying if the, the momentum can push the price above 11.54, the, the pair could rally, Theta USD, uh, that pair could rally to 13.19. Well, um, yeah, we've hit both of those numbers, by the way. So... Um, they're saying a shallow correction or tight consolidation will suggest the trend remains strong and it'll enhance the prospects of the uptrend resuming. Now, a sharp correction uh, breaking below the $8 support may indicate the bears could be marking, uh, making a comeback. Okay, so I don't see that happening. Like I said, I see the, the, the price of Theta falling back down to maybe a support here of about $12.47. Because, guys, the thing is, if you watch Theta, okay, if you watch Theta, and its price, when it comes down, it doesn't stay down for too long. Like, it, it comes down and it bounces right back up. And then we're we're off to the moon. Um, so I'm expecting more of the same, really, until we get through the end of April. And then possibly into, like, mid-March. Then I could see us having more of a correction. Because right now we're in hyper-growth with Theta. Um, here's another article I found. Seven companies poised to make disruptive Bitcoin moves in the next 12 months. Okay. Now, with all this technology that's coming out with Ethereum, decentralized finance, now you got streaming live video with uh, Theta and T-Fuel leading the market, it's going to create a whole new market there as well. You're going to see a lot more corporations uh, jumping on board through like Grayscale, through these trusts that have been opened up for the altcoins. Um, and here's just a list of some of the companies that uh, they're watching right now. At least seven companies that might buy Bitcoin in the coming months, right? And they're talking about this not from an investment standpoint, but from from a hedging perspective because of what the central bank is doing with printing all the money. Okay, So this would just be merely so that they can buy Bitcoin to protect their, uh, their price to earnings, basically, uh, against that U.S. dollar. So you got Amazon, Apple, MasterCard, uh, Oracle, Overstock.com, Silvergrade Capital, and Square. Now, we know Square has already been involved with blockchain. Same with MasterCard. Uh, Amazon was dipping into it a little bit. Same with Apple. But if they're going to go into Bitcoin, kind of like what Tesla did, uh, especially with like Oracle, okay, if, if you get Oracle doing that and following Tesla's um, footsteps, Oracle, guys, is, is a huge database company, okay? Now, they're already in the blockchain space with, and partnered with Chainlink. But if you see them buy Bitcoin, you're going to see more than likely the entire Silicon Valley follow suit along with the rest of corporate America buying into Bitcoin. So that's why you see a lot of these guys talking about how Bitcoin you know, could very easily hit a hundred to $200,000 uh, in the not so distant future because that's you're talking trillions of dollars there. I mean, Apple alone, you know, their market caps like well over, you know, a trillion dollars just just with Apple itself so it'll be interesting to see what these guys do um here's another article that i found speaking of projects there's uh, xrp right now xrp's uh price has been moving quite a bit so if we go back here xrp right now is at 55 cents we were we were making a move up we broke through uh the resistance downtrend here on the daily chart <clears throat> and we started moving higher so I would expect us to move continue moving higher um, I had a price projection of around 98 cents on XRP and that was based on the uh, the basically the height or the neck of this triangle here so that's where I was I was getting that value from 
Uh, XRP though, look at this. This is a, uh, a tweet from, actually it's a meme from Elon Musk and it was dealing with SpaceX, right? He said SpaceX is launching validator nodes on Starlink satellites for quantum financial system, question mark, moon phase, prepare to blast off, right? Um, and this is this is a meme that was done by Elon Musk. What's this in the helmet right here? Does that not look like um, XRP right there? And then, you, of course, you got Doge, the, do, the dog here, the fox or whatever, uh, for Dogecoin, and you're on the moon. So it's... <laughs> It's it's pretty interesting coded message there. I just wanted to point that out because I thought that was pretty interesting. And you know, if you're paying attention to the XRP case right now, um, you know the the judge, okay, that's overseeing the SEC side, was talking about in in the hearing how, you know, XRP, if it's considered a security, then we're all selling illegal securities, including ourselves and some other people, and the XRP lawyer was saying well yeah and that would be a nightmare for everybody but it's you know the judge even said herself she said well from what i'm hearing it sounds like xrp is more of a currency and utility and the xrp lawyers were like yeah that's what we've been trying to tell you the whole time you know and this this all took place uh in a hearing just a couple of days ago so it's got people that are invested in xrp really excited I'm invested in XRP and I'm not letting go, okay, because I, I honestly believe, you know, just reading the documents and reading their own papers, that it's going to have to be revalued at some point because they're using it for, you know, facilitation of transactions with BIS and SWIFT. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's really, there's a lot going on, guys. It's hard to cover all this stuff, but, you know, like I say, hang tight. They're going to try to shake you. Markets will go up, down. You know, prices will go up and down. Uh, but, you know, remain resilient. And like I say all the time, you know, like Warren Buffett said it too. The, um, the transfer of wealth is transferred from the impatient to the patient. And with that, with that said, guys, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you, uh, you know, you like the content that you're seeing here. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, one last thing. Uh, fear nothing, my friends. Okay? Till next time. I'll talk to you later.